How's it? Aloha. Chef Sheldon Simeon here in my backyard of Wailuku, Maui, Hawaii. Mahalo Olukai for having me at Anywhere Aloha Friday. And I get one hibachi recipe for you guys that going to take your hibachi action to the next level. We'll be making some pork guava ribs. Whew, I cannot wait till the thing is pow because the burger is ono. All right, aloha, check this out. So first thing I'm going to do is set up the grill and uh, this is a technique that we're going to cook the ribs super slow. We're going to try to keep the ribs between 250 degrees and 275 degrees and we want to cook the ribs for three hours and how do you do that to maintain that heat? We're going to make a snake with our rickets. Start it off at six o'clock. We'll start one, one large pile. We'll go almost all the way around it. Want to make sure that they're critical, that they're touching. What's that so going to do is slowly ignite. So it's going to start off with that pile there. And as it cooks, it'll ignite the next. These are Kiave wood chips. That's just going to add a little bit of extra smoke. We'll create some hot spots in between to just help it going. So we'll put a little bit of extra. We just want to get it started. We'll get that first pile lit like that, and then that's going to warm up everything. We'll get it up to temperature, hopefully around 250, 275 degrees. So let's go prep our ribs. So we got the grill going. That's going to come up to temperature. We're going to work on our ribs. These are just some St. Louis ribs that I just got from the store. There's gonna be a little bit of prep from it, so we wanna get this part off of it. There's a membrane. That's just because it's gonna deny the smoke from penetrating the meat. So take your knife, gonna start that membrane off. Use your paper towel as a grip and pull them back. Just like that. Oddly satisfying. <laughs> then we're gonna just trim it up. So we want to take off all of this excess fat from back here and all of this, just this excess pieces of, of meat. I just want to make a nice clean rib. And that's going to help the, the smoke get into it and make sure that everything can get seasoned properly. Cool, now that we got all our ribs all cleaned up, we're going to season them. I'm just going to use a little bit of yellow mustard. That's going to act as a binding agent. The key is to make sure that everything is seasoned and that's ensuring that everything's gonna be flavorful. And that's what you wanna see. We'll do the same for the back. So once we get all our ribs seasoned up, we're gonna let that sit for just a few minutes. And you can see, already see, that salt is kinda of reacting with the meat and it's starting to glisten. That's it, that's perfectly seasoned ribs. We'll go check on our grill, see what temperature it's at, and then uh, we'll throw it on there. Perfect. Got our grill up to temp, about 275 degrees. I'll put the ribs opposite from where the fire is and then we'll slowly rotate it in that about two and a half, three hours that it's gonna take to, to cook our ribs. We wanna keep the opening opposite from where the fire is. That's just to ensure the heat is rotating through. What they say, set them and forget them. What are we gonna do now? Yard work. Huh? Yeah, three hours for do something. What do you do? Oh, you can do a lot in three hours. <laughs> I'm gonna check the ribs, see where they're at. It's been maintaining about 250, 275 degrees. 
think they'll be perfect. This is what you want to start to see. You see the meat start to pull away from the ends here. You can see the way that it's bending tender enough to get it wrapped up and then finished off. Look at that perfect crust on those ribs. So this is going to be the last part of the ribs and this is where we're going to get it like super tender. We're going to get all of that flavor all injected into the ribs and it's going to be delicious. So some heavy duty tin foil. So first thing I'm going to go down is some local honey. Next up, we're going to flavor the ribs with Hawaiian sun guava jelly. Everybody in Hawaii has this in their cabinets. I grew up eating it. I love it. And there's no denying the flavor of guava jelly. Some brown sugar. We'll put our ribs down, bone side facing up, like that. I'm gonna season that a little bit more. Same thing. We'll wrap that up. Make sure that we have a tight sealed pouch. We're gonna put it right back into the hibachi for another 30 minutes, or it's gonna get super tender. It's now Pauhana time. These ribs has been cooking all day. Now is the crowning jewel. I'm gonna sauce them up and we're gonna eat. That's perfect. You can see that it's perfectly cooked. If I tug on the bone, you can see it's almost ready to peek through. I'm just gonna take some store-bought sauce. The flavor is already in there with the guava jelly, that honey, the brown sugar. This is just gonna do that extra glaze. Moment of truth. Perfectly tender. They're tender but not falling apart. Grab myself a piece. Right there, people. Perfect. Guava barbecue pork ribs. All right, I can't wait to finish all of these ribs. Thank you guys for joining me on Anywhere Aloha Fridays. Mahalo's Olukai. Go out there, check out the recipe. Spock you guys later.